Hi everybody, it's Jeff Johnson, creator of UDoodle. In this tutorial I will show you how to remove the background from an object. If your user interface on iOS doesn't look like this, update your app to 7.5. Okay, I've got a picture of my lovely daughter Clover in Dropbox and I want to remove the background so that I can put her into other backgrounds. So let's show you how to do that. Once you have a photo that you want to remove the background in, go ahead and get it into the app by clicking File on the top right. Tap Import and make sure that you tap Draw on top of a photo. Now Clover's in Dropbox, I believe. So you can click that Other Apps button as the source and it will bring up some of these choices. Make sure that you have Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever other app installed that you want to pick from. She is right here. So I'm going to pick her. Uh, there she is, very cute. Um, to make this easy, you can crop it so that just the piece that you're going to be tracing is visible. That way you don't have to mess with other parts of the photo. I think that's probably pretty good. Okay, so typically when you're tracing a photo, you want to use the brush tool. A good color is probably white. And you'll want to make the size pretty low and turn off any glow. For extra help tracing, turn on line mode, which lets the line continue even if you lift up your finger. And that's going to be very handy as we trace Clover here. So the first thing you'll want to do is zoom in so that you can get an accurate trace. For even more accurate tracing, you can tap and hold brings up a zoom preview in the top left. I'm going to go ahead and trace Clover. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be going a little bit faster than normal. But for your tracing, you'll want to go a little bit slower and make sure it looks nice. Okay, so that was sped up a little bit so that you didn't have to watch me go through the pain of that. When you're done tracing, turn off line mode. Uh, Take a look at your photo and make sure it looks like you want. This is looking pretty good, except I see a little bit of funniness right here. You can go in with the eraser and touch up any areas that don't look quite right. Get nice and zoomed in to make sure it looks good. Switch back to the brush and clean that up pretty good. For the purposes of this video, I think that's going to look really nice. Uh, once you've got it traced, you want to probably save it to your sketchbook so that in case you muck something up, you've got a copy of it. So I'm going to go ahead and save to sketchbook clover one. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is check out your layers. Make sure it looks right. You should have a nice tracing there. You can barely see it. It looks like a ghost on the foreground. And on the background there, we have clover. Here's what you want to do. Go to the paint bucket. Pick the black color. Make sure the opacity is all the way up and get rid of tint or anything else. Turn off color, replace the entire image. Probably want smooth edge on. And tap somewhere outside of the photo. So you can see now that the background has been covered up. It's not gone, but it, for all intents and purposes it's covered up. You can verify this by looking at layers. Now you can really see that outline of clover and our project's really coming along now. The next thing you'll want to do is merge to foreground. That gets everything on the foreground and it will cause the background to go away. So I'll show you what I mean. Merge to foreground, yes. Now let's look at our layers. Clover is on the foreground and there's nothing on the background. Now you may be saying, well, I got black all around her. That's not very useful. Well, I'm going to show you how to change that black to transparent. The paint bucket can actually do this. You see this little checkerboard pattern? Tap that. And now watch the magic. Now we have transparent background and Clover is on the foreground. And this is a great time to save once again to your sketchbook. <clears throat> now make sure you do save a copy. I'm going to call this Clover 2. <clears throat> now let's say I want to put Clover in a famous background. Well, you doodle just barely got a very cool backgrounds pack. 
So I'm going to go ahead and import. Uh, we're going to draw on a photo. We're going to pick from the backgrounds. There's this places here, and I'm going to put her uh, probably the Eiffel Tower is a nice one. So let's put Clover in front of the Eiffel Tower. You can do this pretty easily. Tap the Layers button in the top there and do Insert Foreground. I'm going to pick from my sketchbook and I'm going to pick Clover 2, the one with the transparency. There she is. And now, I think it would be really funny to have her standing on top, but that won't work because her head will get cut off. So maybe, maybe we'll just put her in the grass here. Uh, that's probably cute. Let's try that. And now, I have put my kid next to the Eiffel Tower. Now you can see the many, many uses for this. Uh, just tracing your photo with a nice thin white outline makes it look really nice. I probably could have even gone a little bit thinner on Clover there to make it a little less obvious. But you get the idea. Um, pretty much trace the photo, do what I said, get that background transparent, and then you can insert into any new project just like that. And then, of course, save it to Instagram and Facebook. Probably want to add a nice little text caption there. And uh, this new scrolling toolbar actually has the text tool on the bottom. So I'm going to write something here. Clover. And let's put it there. And looks like that's too big, so we'll make it smaller. Letter spacing's too big. There we go. And we'll move it right above her head. And there you go. So now you have a nice, cute picture you could save. And the possibilities are, of course, endless. And the beautiful thing is, all of what I just did is free. There's no in-app purchases for any of the UDoodle apps. You can do this without paying a dime. So please share your creations and email support at udoodle.net if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day.